A lot of the talk about encryption these days centers around securing things like internet connections and passwords on a server somewhere. And it makes sense considering how much data is constantly being tossed around online. But let's say that you've done everything you can to hide your online activity using a VPN, making up a 20 character freaking password for your social media accounts, and overwriting your browser cache. What if despite all of this, someone just walks off with your hard drive or computer or breaks in while you're out of the house and starts trying to get into your stuff? This is where an equally important kind of encryption can really help you. It's called whole drive encryption or full disk encryption. And just like the name says, the idea is to encrypt your whole drive so a thief can't just access all of your private data if they walk off with it. But how does this work? Many full disk encryption methods such as Windows BitLocker try to give you a fairly transparent experience when you're actually using the computer. To do this, all of the data on your drive is encrypted, and the next time you boot up your computer, you'll be presented with a special pre-boot environment that will ask you for an encryption key. This could be something as simple as a password or a key stored on a physical drive, like a USB stick, if you'd rather go that route. After you supply the appropriate credentials, your hard drive will be decrypted and you'll be able to carry on business as usual. Of course, if someone steals your hard drive and your encryption key isn't terribly strong, it might not be too hard for some miscreant to crack it. So many users who use full disk encryption add another layer of protection through a trusted platform module, or TPM. This is an add-in chip found on some motherboards, and even if you don't have one, many modern motherboards, including lower cost ones, have TPM headers, so you can just buy one for not a lot of money and install it yourself. What a TPM does is generate encryption keys and stores them, at least in part, on the module itself instead of just the hard drive. TPMs can also detect tampering attempts. So if someone steals your hard drive out of your computer and tries to put it in their own, it won't work. And speaking of tampering, TPMs can additionally tell if someone has injected malicious code, like a rootkit, which you can learn about up here, into your boot sector, which often can't be encrypted by full drive encryption schemes. This way, it can lock down the system and help you recover it later without exposing it to rootkit malware. Some people even take this a step farther and buy hardware encrypted drives that have a built-in chip that can encrypt the entire enchilada, including your boot sector. But despite all these ways to secure your drive, they don't really do much at all to keep your data safe once your computer is up and running. Remember how I said it decrypts your entire drive? Instead, many people who are serious about security, especially if they have to leave their computers on 24-7 for whatever reason, use some sort of file system level encryption that can encrypt and decrypt individual files on demand. Very useful if you don't want someone to randomly use your PC and pouring through all of your questionable downloads. So let us know if you'd like to see a video on how to keep your files safe from prying eyes if you have to leave your Windows session unattended. After all, you definitely don't want everyone knowing it was you that created that piece of fan art 4chan just really can't stop talking about. Are you coding for online easy payments? If you're building a mobile app and searching for a simple payment solution, check out Braintree. Braintree's v.0 SDK is just one small snippet of code and allows you to accept Apple Pay, Android Pay, PayPal, Venmo, credit cards, even Bitcoin. And if something new pops up, Braintree will support that too. It's used by Uber, Airbnb, GitHub. It's scalable. Integrating it into your app is as easy as just inserting a few lines of code. So try out the sandbox and learn more about Braintree and get your first $50,000 in transactions fee free at BraintreePayments.com. Don't forget to let John know in the comments down below if you want to see a file system level encryption video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Don't forget to get subscribed to Tech Quickie. Um, check out links in the video description. We've got a bunch of cool ones there. They're interesting, I'm sure. Uh, if you get bored by those links, you can check out Channel Super Fun, which is more interesting. And if you're wondering what the hell that incessant whispering was in the background of this entire video, say hi, Linus. Linus is doing the WAN show, so I'm gonna go do that now. So, hopefully, All right. gone are the days of having to.